According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were gonna tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us, we failed. The partners grew paranoid made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first Constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral, we don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died, civilians, 
You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47.
Track 47. I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. wants to talk, and the problem is he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus, and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit want between Janus and a local resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. Alright, Doc, sorry. I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, alright? Yeah, talk to you. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. Spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past... So Janice has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He is down feeding the birds by the creek at the moment. Sounds like a good way inside Janice's house. Simon, I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janice. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly positive. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. Maybe if you don't get along with the elderly, always with the elderly. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like Janice. I have I never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy, because he looks like any fragile old man, but I think, no, I'm sure he's messing with me. Okay. Hey, you break it, you buy it. Uh, why me? Why me? Guess it's just one of those days. Uh huh. Okay, I'll take it from you. Just sit back and relax. Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll stay right here, where it's safe. Ah, man, this sucks. Right in there where the heel of the shoe meets the base. I remember I walked by them. Nice been sitting there most of the day. 
I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. It's a new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of Past Shimmer, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Hmm. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our... Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the Constant. I, I don't need medical attention right now, but it's good to know that there's a professional around. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? I swear I have a license. This will just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right. already. I swear he's down by the creek feeding those ducks. Never mind. Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. well hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But You know, the work you do is just as important as the ducks. I get your number. You look almost hmm. like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. <sighs> so enough oxygen here. Back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible. I think it's derogatory to say male to nurse. The bathroom for yeah, just be nurse, man. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long.
Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. I bet you're braver than me, sir. Are you trying to be intimidating or something? That won't work on me. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you remind me of someone I met a long time ago. A young... Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still, we are close now, 47. 